Ciao guys, I'm Wood here, so this is an insane time to be alive for if, if you love VR as much as I do because in the same day that actually Facebook uh, is doing their live stream for the announcement of the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Rift test with the release uh, they actually May 21st, you can check the other video over here Valve dropped every details about the index uh, with the all the details, all the photos, the, the landing page, the page over there. And so in this video, I'm gonna browse it together to see together what to expect by this amazing headset directly from Valve. Uh, I, I'm super excited, so let's be excited together and let's switch to the computer right now to see everything about this amazing headset coming. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are on the page. This is the first page, the first thing that we see and is actually the headset part. Uh, the headset itself, this is a indexed headset with all the different details, all the different views from the different like uh, uh, parts, uh, the audio included and everything. Now, I think that it really looks beautiful to be honest, but le let's keep going. So fidelity first, it's very important for them to uh, give a good, um, screen at the end of the day so this is the screen high fidelity uh, visual and this is amazing because uh, reading at the specs we have a 1440 by 1600 that is the same resolution that we have on the odyssey plus the vive pro um, 2 but in this case at rgb pixel arrangement so that means that we have more pixels than usual uh, like 50 percent more uh, sub pixel because we have three sub pixel instead of two, like the other pentile displays, uh, you're, we're gonna have a little less contrast, a little less colors, but uh, they said that is to have a reduced screen door effect. So it's a different direction. We already seen that with other headset too. And then now what is the part that is really exciting is actually this, is the 120, 144 Hertz display now this is vital because the earths are very important if you don't wanna like uh, get motion sickness and stuff and this is the first time we see somebody pushing over the 90 fps instead of like staying on the 90 or going lower like uh, with the oculus rift s where we are like 80 earths or the quest that we have 72 here instead we're going to 144 that is gonna be amazing like a feast for the eyes uh, i can't really wait to try this eye refresh rate on to be honest uh, so more comfortable play session and low persistent this is very very important because uh, lcd sometimes can create ghosting instead with low persistent display with a 0.3 milliseconds uh, of response time well you're not gonna have that problem and all the image are gonna be super fluid without motion blur at all so uh, super amazing on it here we have the lenses and a dual element lens as we saw the before in the rumors so they're gonna use a two lens stacked all on the other to create less distortion and a better like uh, experience overall for your eyes and maximizing the FOV 20% more than the HTC Vive that means 110 plus 20, 130 on FOV. And that's super amazing. Also physically, physically um, IPD adjustment. So you're gonna be able to adjust everything to fit your eyes directly. And other part, best in class audio. Uh, we saw the design already of these headsets over here because it's an open air design. That means that the sound will feel more uh, like a room scale uh, sound instead of just something laying on your ears. It's something that other manufacturers are using, uh, like um, AKG in this case, Sennheiser, sorry, is using for uh, those kind of uh, uh, headphones, but it's something that is really uh, getting bigger and bigger. Comfort for everyone. This is going to be similar to the Deluxe Audio Strap on the HTC Vive, but we have to say that there, Everything looks so soft. It's like Alcantara, something like that. So you can adjust the side, blah, blah, blah. Yes, anti microbial fabrics and a quick swap face pad. That means that you're gonna be able to just swap them every time and not having like uh, just nasty stuff on the headset because it's something that you have to wear. Anyway, designer for makers, for makers. This is super interesting. What is that for? Refer to the frunk. This is the frunk. 
the front compartment includes USB 3 Type-A port uh, made for tinkers and makers. Uh, specs and details will provide soon. So probably you're gonna have an expansion over there for different kind of uh, stuff. Uh, we don't know yet, but we're gonna discover in the future and it's gonna let us know. Here uh, on Steam, No Man's Sky, so it's gonna be a big title to start. We don't believe your content should be locked to your headset, any content you brought both on Steam for your HTC Vive, HTC Vive Pro, Oculus Rift for Windows Mixed Reality will work with the Valve Index and vice versa. This is amazing because it's really how Steam is standing in the market, is really a reference to the market that is actually doing Oculus in the opposite way where they lock everything with their store. Here instead everyone will be able to buy it uh, every game and play every game without any problem just amazing how they're moving and here the most interesting thing uh, for me at least and for you some of you as well i guess this is the tech specs we have a dual 1440 by 1600 lcd display for gb arrangement uh, we talked about that already frame rate 80 90 120 144 now why this is super important because if your pc is not powerful enough you can always drop to 80 you can always drop to 90 you can always drop to 120 and if you really want the best experience ever 144 would be your way to go amazing that you have the choice for this it's just unbelievable for me uh, i really want to try 144 hertz because i have the laptop with 144 hertz is another word when it comes to smoothness and in vr will be just amazing um, and i wonder if it's gonna help people to don't get sick as much as it happened in now uh, it's just unbelievable double element uh, with this uh, canted lens design for the optics are final lenses i think but uh, we're gonna see more um, optimized as relief adjustment allows a typical user experience 20 percent more we said 130 uh, degrees of field of view ipd adjustment goes from 40 58 to 70 in the range this is very very nice we have integrated pretty much everything connection usb type c uh, display port 1.2 and at 12 volt so uh, we have a breakaway trident connection so we're gonna have steel to connect it also to the power outlet in that case steam vr sensor 2.0 uh, compatible also with the 1.0 so that means that you don't have to update everything but you can still use the your lighthouse 1.0 as we said before with the lighthouse leak these are the frequency for the audio we have a dual microphone array so better audio and two cameras uh, over there that are going to be used also for computer vision and stereo pass through stereo pass through that is very very interesting let's go then to the second page these are the valve index controllers but they're called just controllers right now and look at them they look amazing this is their last reiteration with the valve logo over there the index logo over there and uh, all the buttons and everything just amazing your hands in vr designed to enable natural interaction high fidelity and present and long-term comfort so these are going to be amazing because you're going to have the all and presence in vr you're going to be able to use every single finger as you can see play rock paper and scissors or everything you want as you can see there also you can see that how much power you're giving to any different and uh, finger and that's just amazing this implementation over there low latency tracking so you're gonna be super immersed the adjustable and secure strap that is a little different because you're used to put the strap around our wrist instead here you're gonna be able to just throw it and uh, kind of keep your controller there you have to like teach your mind again on it and uh, the input is for interaction so uh, you have uh, the standard gaming inputs that are trigger and controller but you can also squeeze and uh, track every single button because there's going to be haptics on the buttons like we saw already on the oculus rift the steam titles are going to be all compatible uh, thanks to steam vr input that we already have but these are the ones that are using the all functionality of these controllers so really really interesting these are all the the thing that we have and the connection overall battery life seven hours not bad at all 
let's go to the last part that is the base stations these are the base stations we saw some leaks before um there are exactly like the 2.0 that the one that were already used on the vive pro uh this time everything from valve uh, they change probably a little you can also don't mount it on the wall but just there and seems like it's gonna work also for one the base station that's it we're gonna see that in the future but you're gonna be able to have 40 400 percent more and larger space is going to be expendable because you're going to be able to use more than just you and uh, that's the best tracking because you have a, a really the best resolution in tracking over there we already see on the uh, vive you already see on the vive pro and well things are just getting better and better uh this is just a uh, one guy playing with the index i would like to be him to be honest and uh, these are the specs so the range is actually seven meters and uh, but you are able to put four to have 10 meters by 10 meters this is the fov that they're gonna cover and the power outlet is 12 volts so you're gonna have to connect them of course to the power outlet at the same time and let's go to the most interesting part that is actually the price because we want to know how we're gonna die and this is the page so the old kit will be 9.99 a little pricey um, but this is like the top notch quality in VR right now there's nothing uh, even close to it and uh, you have the valve index the controllers and the two base station coming everything on June 28th there's no pre-order yet it's going to be in the future but the con uh, this is very interesting if you have already the first base station the first lighthouse you can buy just the controller and the headset for 749 so uh, not a bad price at all uh, if you consider that if you come from the HTC Vive and if you want just the headset uh, well that is going to be 499 that uh, it, it's an amazing price uh, I have to say I'm blown away by the price of it because I was expecting actually that because I wanted steam to be competitive and exactly and they exactly did it they're super competitive with this price even if you need the base station and everything if you just want to buy the headset 499 is a great price for what we have over here the controllers 279 a little inexpensive part but well, if you want end tracking, well, this is the best way and the, the only way to go, actually. And the base station, 149 each, each. That's pricey because it's going to be 300. That means that they really want to push you to get all the kit together for 999. Uh, system requirements are very low and 970. It's very low because uh, you can uh, still go down to 80 hertz. The resolution is not super super high and they use the double lens to make the image better. So it's super interesting for that as well. And here we have it all guys. This is the details uh, that we have on the valve index i can't really wait to try it as soon as the button is going to get on a pre-order well that is going to happen and we're going to cover everything on the channel uh, i'm super excited for this to be honest i see that they didn't take trade off on pretty much anything for quality is not inside out tracking so you have to know that you have to put external sensor but i think it's worth it when it comes to this quality in this way uh, guys, uh, I can't really wait to see it in action. I think that it's going to be a game changer and I'm really curious to know what you think about it. This period is going to be super interesting. We have the quest that actually dropped today, like May 21st, but the announcement dropped today. The Oculus Rift S uh, that is the become the affordable and cheap VR headset. And this is going to be the top notch, even better than uh, the Vive Pro, the Odyssey Plus and everything here we are really to a next level but of course I want to try to see what is the real deal uh, let me know in the comment below what you think about it let me know if you are interested in that and you are planning to buy it uh, I'm gonna leave the link below for the description and everything uh, this was a little video more not so much editing but more like a uh, to show together my excitement and to do like a kind of live video even if it's not live but let me know in the comment below I'm gonna be down there to talk with you guys 
and I see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Remember the Oculus Quest countdown uh, giveaway that we did in the previous video, uh, where if we arrive to 10K before May 21st, we're gonna give away. I'm gonna give away um, a quest, so subscribe for that and uh, share these videos all around. Thanks for watching, I see you guys next video. Like, dislike, and I see you guys next time. Ciao!